The Blade franchise, centering on the Marvel Comics character Blade, has been a significant influence on the superhero genre, particularly in the domain of supernatural and horror crossover. With the Daywalker's return to the big screen rumoured, there's no better time to sharpen our knowledge on this cult classic series. Here are 55 lesser-known facts about the Blade franchise that even the most devoted fans may not know. Blade's first appearance. Blade first appeared in The Tomb of Dracula, Hash 10, in 1973 as a supporting character. He was created by writer Marv Wolfman and artist Gene Colan. Inspiration Behind Blade The inspiration for Blade came from a variety of sources, including the blaxploitation film trend of the early 70s and Dracula lore. Not always a daywalker. In his initial comic book appearances, Blade did not possess the superhuman abilities he is known for. He was merely immune to being turned into a vampire. Early Powers Blade's early power set included immunity to vampire bites, superior athleticism, and an extensive knowledge of martial arts and weaponry. First Transition to Screen The first Blade movie premiered in 1998, predating the modern Marvel Cinematic Universe by a decade, and was one of the first successful Marvel Comics movie adaptations. Wesley Snipes' ownership Actor Wesley Snipes not only starred as Blade, but was also a producer for the films and a key proponent in getting the original movie made. Jazz Musician Origin The original Blade was portrayed as a jazz musician in the comics, which was changed in the movies to make the character more combat-focused. Wesley Snipes as a martial artist Snipes' background in martial arts was integral to Blade's fighting style in the movies, bringing an authentic sense of danger and athleticism to the action scenes. CGI over physical effects The Blade movies were known for their mix of practical effects and CGI, with the latter being criticized in the later films for lack of realism. Rated R Pioneers Blade was one of the first Marvel characters to be featured in an R-rated film, setting a precedent for movies like Deadpool and Logan years later. Blade's mother. In the films, Blade's mother is bitten by a vampire while pregnant, which gives Blade his vampire abilities without the weaknesses. This origin story is unique to the movie and differs from the comic books. Box Office Success The first Blade movie was a box office success, earning over $131 million worldwide on a $45 million budget. Casting Might Have Beans LL Cool J was among the actors considered for the role of Blade before Wesley Snipes was cast. Blade the Coup's director, Guillermo del Toro, known for his love of dark fantasy and horror, directed Blade II and brought his unique visual style to the franchise. An imperfect hero, Blade's character is intentionally flawed. He is driven by a thirst for vengeance and struggles to control his own vampiric tendencies. Soundtrack success. The soundtracks for the Blade movies, particularly the first one, were hits, featuring artists like Mystical and KRS-One. TV series Attempt, a Blade TV series, aired in 2006 but was cancelled after one season. It starred rapper and actor Sticky Fingers in the title role, the first Black Marvel superhero, to headline. His own movies, Blade was the first black superhero to be the protagonist of his own series of movies, a significant milestone for representation in superhero media. Vampire Mythos Expansion The Blade movies contributed to the vampire mythos, by introducing various types of vampires and hierarchies within their society. The Reapers In Blade II, the introduction of the Reapers, vampires who prey on other vampires, added a new layer to the traditional vampire narrative. Reboot Rumors Since the early 2010s, there have been talks about rebooting the Blade franchise, with Wesley Snipes expressing interest in returning to the role. Blade's Sword the sword used by Blade 
has a specially designed acid-etched titanium blade and is one of the character's most iconic weapons. If it wasn't for Blade, we wouldn't have the MCU. This bold statement isn't as far-fetched as some might assume. The Blade franchise, which premiered in 1998 with Wesley Snipes in the lead role, was a forerunner in the modern superhero film era, and its success laid the groundwork for what would eventually become the Marvel Cinematic Universe, MCU. Blade didn't just open the door for Marvel's later success, it kicked it down. The film's unique blend of horror and action appealed to audiences beyond the comic book fan base and demonstrated the potential profitability of superhero films. The lessons learned from the Blade trilogy's success and missteps undoubtedly influenced Marvel Studios' approach to the MCU. When Kevin Feige, the architect of the MCU, started his journey with Marvel as an assistant to producer Lauren Shuler Donner on the first X-Men movie, he had already witnessed the success of Blade. He under 